Having some fat on your body is natural and healthy, regardless of how fit you are. Moderate fat helps to give your body energy, protect your organs and support cell growth among others. However, you should also know that too much fat is also dangerous to your body. Hey my name is James, in this video we shall be discussing visceral fat and subcutaneous fat. But before we proceed be sure to watch all the way to the end, like and hit the subscribe button. And if you looking to lose some pounds click the link below, I will be sharing with you a step by step method on how you can shed some pounds without starving yourself. Depending on where those fat deposits are located, your health may be harmed in various ways. For instance, subcutaneous fat, which is typically kept in the jiggly area of an underarm, is typically stored right beneath the skin. You can squeeze it with your fingers. On the other hand, visceral fat encircles the organs and is buried deep within the abdominal walls. Subcutaneous versus visceral fat. The word, visceral, is used to describe internal organs. The stomach, liver, and intestines that are closely surrounded by this kind of fat. Everyone possesses some visceral fat because it protects vital blood arteries and cushions internal organs. However, note that there are several dangers associated with high amounts of this kind of fat. Do you have a pot belly? Then it's a sign that you have a lot visceral fat. Apple-shaped people often have more visceral fat than pear-shaped people. Contrarily, the term subcutaneous implies a location immediately below the skin. Every human has some subcutaneous fat because it is a component of the connective tissue layer and aids in protecting deeper structures, much like visceral fat does. Anywhere on the body, subcutaneous fat is pinchable and is most prevalent in the lower body. This shows that it is less dangerous than the deeper alternative in your abdomen. However, it can also be concerning in large amounts. Body fat can be measured in a various ways, as can the health risks associated with weight. The waist to hip ratio and body mass index, BMI, which gauges body fat based on height and weight, are two popular approaches. Visceral fat can be measured with a waist measurement, but other approaches are limited since they do not account for different forms of fat. A tool called a caliper can be used to measure subscutaneous fat. Visceral fat versus subcutaneous fat dangers. Visceral fat is accompanied with a number of dangers. Deep abdominal fat may contribute to insulin resistance and inflammation, which can result in heart disease, diabetes, and cancer, according to some research. Visceral fat is a major cause of death in men, according to research. Visceral fat dangers include Diabetes High blood pressure, or hypertension let us know what you think of this video in the comments below. And if you want to shed some pounds without starving yourself, click the link below now. I will be sharing with you a step-by-step -step method to getting a beach body without starving yourself.